Hey there Taurus, welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my readings, please be sure to like, go ahead and take a moment now, and subscribe if you enjoy my readings so that you can see my readings next week, and hit the bell. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and think about the question, alright? Whatever it is that's been driving you crazy and just making you mad, then go ahead and think about that question right now. All right. And it looks like moisture might have been on your bad side recently. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> A man or boy, and you may have dealt with some type of uncertainty or haste. All right, so that's your central and present issue, the question that you posed. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pull the manifestation cards. All right, so for your current and present situation, We've got scripting for manifesting, which means, which basically is like writing it down. Whatever is driving you crazy, whatever's making you, um, if you're trying to finish a project or if you're trying to get a new job, maybe you just got a new job and you know, you're just feeling a little bit like there's a better answer. You can always just Write it down and we'll see what comes of it. All right, so for your um, factors affecting your situation is the fire card, which fire signs are Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And this says to be in unity or to have loyalty. And of course, that's going to make strength. All right, so we've got strength there. And um, for your manifestation card that goes with that in, you know, issues that are affecting the question, um, it says emanate confidence. All right, emanate confidence. All right, so in other words, don't let insecurities drag you down, okay? I'm going to move my camera a little bit. Okay, it's just a little crazy off. <laughs> this is my easel, by the way. I like to just sit my, I like to sit my cards on it while, so you can get a good look at them. And then, especially since I just got this little deck. Okay, so I got this out of um, a magic book about Merlin's magic. So it's especially interesting. All right, and this one is the heat card. And it has to do with evolution, change, and a friend. But it's reversed. It's reversed. So you may be dealing with regression or an enemy or instability. All right? Instability. And then that can cause all kind of craziness. And it looks like for manifesting, it says... It will help you to raise your vibration if you use crystals. Crystals will help you raise your vibration. All right. So if you're around a lot of negative people, there's not really a whole lot you can do about it. You can get some crystals and, you know, let them raise your vibration. All right. So um, let's take a quick gander here. We've got dryness, dryness, and this is the card dryness. It says desired results are safety in a crowd. All right. And it's a lion. So it may have something to do with Leo. All right. All right. Y'all bear with me for a sec because my back is hurting. Okay. So I haven't. I haven't really been able to find that much information about this deck. 
and how it came about. But whenever I first started looking into tarot cards, I had found quite a bit of information about, okay, I know this sounds strange, but, but bloodletting. And I started to make a deck out of it because it was like the only thing that I could really find that had any information about like ancient rituals and ancient, you know, um, but the apothecary or something of that nature that has to do like, so before modern medicine, witchcraft w was kind of like part of modern medicine. It, it was how we did things before the pharmaceuticals took over. All right. So, um, a lot of people don't know that they don't realize it, but the bloodletting and, you know, a lot of the beliefs about blood are very religious and very, um, sacred. And so it is very important not to, um, not to ignore this information, even though it's kind of disturbing. All right. So let's take a quick look and see what manifestation card it says before sleep manifest, become what you want. All right. And that has to do with the dryness as well as desire results. Now, to, that, to me, that means don't go to bed with your hair wet because you will wake up with an ear infection. Okay. So whatever you get out of that, I hope it helps you. But that is definitely factors that are affecting your situation. So if you're not getting the sleep that you need, and especially if you're not feeling good in your soul or in your body, you're going to need rest. You're going to need relaxation. And... For your immediate future, we have air, which is a new arrival. So you may have family, friends, a baby, a person, or just somebody knocking on your door, right? It says a new start or a new idea. And the manifestation card that goes with that is think about your vibration only and meditate love peace joy and blessings all right so definitely put your best effort forward to better yourself and that will most definitely help you to overcome whatever it is that's blocking you and um i have got this let me see where did it go here it is I have got this new deck of cards and it's blank and so like I have an oracle deck that I made DIY I have um, a Atlantis deck a witch deck I have a mm, grim deck I have um, you know I don't have like a Merlin deck but this new card right here these cards, I am definitely going to do some cards like this. And here's the other cards. See how it has the yin and the yang on it? White around the top. It has the information on it. It has the opposite. So at the top it says envy and at the bottom it says admiration. All right. And then on the top it says rest and on the bottom it says idleness. All right, so I love that yin and that yang about each one of these cards. So this one says heat, and it says an enemy or a friend. Okay, so that yin and that yang are very interesting. And if you can think of anything that you would like to see on this new deck, this is my old deck. This is my oracle deck. I actually put it back in order and separated the manifestation cards from it because it was a manifestation oracle deck and then um i also have this one which is still mixed up but it, it is witchy the white cards are witchy and the multicolored cards are atlantis so i'm going to separate those out too but not right now <laughs> I like them together, actually. They work very well together. So this is what I do is I make sets of cards, each color being a different thing, and then I mix them together, like put the blue and the yellow together, 
or this or that or whatever and um let me know if you have any ideas suggestions in the comments all right and also if you haven't liked or shared this please be sure to all right and for your immediate future we have some angel wings that i'm pulling I'm just gonna pull a couple um we're just gonna pull a couple little things for you all right we've got a little bitty tiny elephant Thinking about elephants before you sleep. Desired results. Friendship bracelet. Crystals, friendship bracelet, and air signs. Ooh, vampires. We've got the vampire amulet. And eliminating, emanate confidence, as well as strength, unity, and loyalty. And then um we also have water and two little feet which are a good friendship necklace that i had for many years okay so if you have any other questions comments or concerns taurus leave it below and y'all come back now you hear